as i'm talking now i'm sharing my opinion it's not a back and forth conversation it's me sharing my opinion with the world some people will like it some people will dislike it but when you look at the likes and dislikes on this video you know where you belong even before dropping a comment so let's get on with the video when you are rising in the kingdom you don't you don't focus on giving to the poor charity is when god has helped you hello so let me ask you a question is it only your man of god is it only the church leaders that are blessed is it only them that have this particular grace of god upon their life that deserve to be given to so that you can catapult yourself to that height of success that height of prosperity that height of great benevolence in your life is it just them if if there are men of god are you a man of satan i'm just asking just direct opposite because if Joshua Solomon could be saying this on poopy, the poor and the needy are there. I'm not saying don't help them, but some of these funny things people do around you rise first, you never give to the poor and rise. No, sir, you sow into an anointing that can bring you into that level of reality. I watched the whole message that led to that. Some of you that think that I watch people's videos to get out, you know, um, fault from them or something. This is not like I'm pointing out a fault. I'm quoting him directly so that you can help me understand and see how mind games, I think, are being played in church just to make you remove money from your pocket. As real as possible, that is what I think. So I want to challenge you to apply this principle. Rising is not tied to giving to the poor. He said the poor you will always have with you. Because I always listen to Jesus so many lot. It's an amazing preacher. A lot of pastors have eloquence when it comes to talking talking about the word of God. So this is a principle he's talking about right now, okay? Because he's, he's already compared it to organizations that talk about giving. To, I know, yes, there are many organizations there that capitalize on this fact that, oh, you should give to the poor. And what do they do? They get your monies and they're building mansions here and there. And the next thing you just, they just do this whole social media thing of giving to the poor for clout. We know that happens. I see posts of that here on Facebook. William Uchemba that gives to the poor himself is this Zubi Michael that made a video recently and said I don't go to church. Oh. What I do is that from all of my earnings, 10% of it I, I go and share to people. I don't do all those church things. This, I'm going to come into that particular Kubana's burial and all of that because some people have taken this overboard without understanding that this same principle is what is working among the Ibus. So if someone is giving this particular principle right now, I want you to apply this principle to yourself. They sow into people. Look at the logic in it. They sow into people in the same line of business as them. Pastors, churches, ministry. The tithe I pay every Sunday is more than the tithe all of you pay for two Sundays. So, I, and I pay tithe to ministries, I pay tithe to ministers. It's a personal revelation. Why? Because they want to increase or they want to double their members. Because I talked to you guys in my previous video how ministers look at themselves. They want to double their self maybe in grace or something. But he look at the, he is sowing into people in the same line of business as him. Pastors, ministries, papa, fathers in the Lord. That is very smart. I challenge you as a church member for this principle to work for you. Look for this person in your church. Even if the person is outside your church that has a, the same kind of business you're doing or is, or is into the same kind of job you're doing this is how we can actually help ourselves work with this particular principle for example let's say you're a trader look for a trader in your church that you think is doing better than you has better cars or something okay so into his life instead of sowing into your pastor because he is a pastor are you a pastor except you want to be a man of god that's why you see most of the times when i read the comments of people that drop comments in my comment section these are wannabe pastors these are even younger pastors that come to attack me why because i am talking about someone they are loyal to someone they want to be like so if you if you understand this apply this this particular principle to your life instead of giving to your pastor for you to actually increase in life because he has said that you can never give to the poor and grow in life i want you to challenge yourself and give to that person that is in the same line of business you are doing in your church outside your church and see how you are going to grow because it's working for them they are the ones buying the jets they are the one expanding in churches it's working for them and i believe it's going to work for you but one thing i also want you to understand right now is that if you look at this principle in what happened in obi kubana's burial kubana chief priest right here who is no longer that much in the same group with Obi Kubana himself. You guys know about the breakup that happened, okay? But he still has loyalty to his boss, someone he was working for. He was the one that gave, he gave, how many cows did he give in honor of his boss's mother? This is something that even happens in Igbo tradition, or what I say, in the Igbo social, how am I going to put it? This is something that happens within the Igbos that we know is a principle that has always worked. So this is not even something spiritual. My father used to serve someone before he became something. My dad, my papa no go school. 
school like say when I go school get PhD now me we be say I go school can't get masters very soon now PhD go they come you get but he all of his life he served under a man and then he was settled he had his own businesses his my dad is a rich man he thinks say as I day here now say I be poor picking no <laughs> you understand but he still pays homage and gives to his boss the person that trained him it's a principle he's sowing into where he came from where he became something from I don't know if you understand the fact here and if you see all of those that you saw they spray money and people are already are making some making noise on the internet is it your money people are going there to spray their money whether it is ill gotten wealth or not i don't know all i know is that i'm seeing people spray money this is their money this is the money they have worked for how they got it i don't know but them going there to honor this man's mother's burial is just to show you something that you are not seeing as they're doing that this person is a socialite this is someone that is also famous this is someone that has connections he's also in this come on most of them that are there throwing money and doing all of that that you have, you have seen on the internet most of them are doing it because of the significance of this man because as they saw and showed their recognition and appreciation to him presence to him over there they're also opening doors for themselves some way somehow when you are rising in the kingdom you don't you don't focus on giving to the poor charity is when god has helped you hello but more they could call him our big gonna have fun and one no adventure more on a container gym no rocket in where they hang where links these are these are things that happen relationship they build so when i talk to you about relevance by association happening in the church why you see pastors always wanting to have a link with this person or how Suleiman adopted himself to be on that they boy blah 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 all of those kind of things i've talked to you guys about many of these things in my previous videos you see how it now makes sense that even in the world this kind of things do happen now let me talk about prophet tb joshua in this point now the reason why tb joshua was not really associated with by many of the mega pastors you know was because he was not part of khan we all understand that they always wanted to know like what is his own reference point like where did he come from how did he become a pastor how did he become a prophet his own background and his i know many many of his members will come and say oh okay where did elijah come from or where did you know those kind of things i read, I read all your comments but look at this tb joshua as a person always gave to the poor tell me did tb joshua have a private jet okay we are not talking about it it's, it's anyone's choice to buy whatever they want to buy whether private jet or buy cars but he had cargo he had a cargo <laughs> that he uses to give supplies to the poor to the needy this was something he was doing consistently so tell me can you compare tb joshua to your papa no wonder apostle johnson Suleiman will come and say that tb joshua is too small the synagogue is too small maybe the synagogue is too small that is why he had just one brand i have a video i'm working on about his person and some things i found in my research about him so you might stay tuned for that video to come tb joshua always Always gave to the poor evidently whether he was diabolic whether he was not diabolic that is not my business i'm talking about things that make sense to you and i and you see a pastor coming to say right here that you can never give to the poor and grow in life maybe that is why tb joshua did not really grow like that or is tb joshua bigger than them or was tb joshua bigger than them when he was living i don't know but does this even make logical sense because right now i'm even questioning myself oh should i now stop giving to the poor because i want to grow in life but of course if god can save me in the times of trouble i think it's a good thing because troubles come to my life every time so god can save me in times of trouble according to salman because i give to the poor which one do you prefer you want to grow in life and have more money and have more success or you want god to save you in times of trouble if god saves you in times of trouble that means god is still with you you grow at your own pace but if you want that supernatural growth that it looks to everyone like magic so into your papa so into your ministries so into your pastors is that what it means you can tell me what you think in the comment section because this is me giving my opinion right now about because come on you guys don't know me most of you are meeting me for the first time so you have no freaking idea about me so me being kind of new to this niche but with my own unique way of making videos i like to prove with evidence with what i say a time would come where george would talk without proving anything to you i just say my mind and you guys will have to believe me why because i know what i'm saying before saying it but for me to come near on the platform with this in this particular niche and i have to make sure i prove to you what i'm saying so that you know that what i'm saying is not just some coming from my mind or because i hate all of a particular person but for the main fact that i actually love being very logical and straight to the point with what i'm saying so i hope you understand that you guys don't know what i go through on this channel but anyway thanks to my core community who keep watching me right here on the platform <laughs>